Welcome to your Assessment Task 1 overview. Assessment Task 1 will be due on Thursday the 10th of September at 8 o'clock and it is weighted at 40% of your overall grade. In this task you'll be required to prepare a lesson plan to teach in a specialist setting and you'll need to prepare an accompanying video that will allow you to discuss the justification for the selected activities and um, undertake some literature research as well and critical thinking and also to reflect on your selection of pedagogy within that lesson as well. So you'll be provided with three case studies for this task. The first case study relates to Blake. Blake's a 12 year old boy. He lives in Brighton and attends Brighton Specialist School. He suffers from asthma and requires a reliever for the, uh, for the asthma. Blake loves all sports, but especially loves AFL and his cats. And he can remember all the statistics from the last five seasons of the cats games. He has autism, Blake has autism, and he has a sensory sensitivity to loud noises. And if triggered, he may behave inappropriately towards other students. And he also has limited communication skills. Remember that everything in this case study is provided for a reason. So it is expected that you'll pick up on each of the aspects and discuss that in your video and consider that when planning your lesson plan. Case study two, Asala is a 13 year old girl whose family has just moved to Australia from the UAE or the United Arab Emirates in the Middle East. She's of Muslim faith and she's moved here because her dad is a high profile engineer. Although she's been at school for two weeks, Asala hasn't made any friends and she is extremely shy. Her family has let the school know that she played soccer at her previous school and she loves soccer and she's very fit and healthy. She's attending the Ballarat Specialist School because she has a developmental delay which affects her ability to learn and understand. And your third case study is Sam, who is a 17 year old boy who attends Concord School. And Sam is extremely uh, social and outgoing. He has Down syndrome and he also has a heart condition where his heart beats abnormally quickly sometimes and that is called tachycardia. Uh, Sam is quite overweight and he takes a bit to motivate to get involved in your HPE class. Although he does love netball and talks about the Melbourne Vixens all the time when he's in your class. Task overview. In the lesson plan, you need to consider the aspects provided to you in your selected case study overview and ensure that your lesson plan includes relevant objectives for your case study, has suitable activities, progressions and modifications, so differentiation within the learning plan, includes relevant safety considerations, and you need to make sure that you've covered all aspects of the lesson plan appropriately with the considerations of your case study in mind. For the purpose of this task, assume that you have got a class full of students who are similar to your selected case study student. Because I understand in a normal class setting, you will have a range of diverse learners regardless of the school setting. So we're assuming that you will have some modifications and simplifications as you would with any lesson, but assume that you have a class of students around that the same level as your selected student. That may help with your planning. So you're not just planning an, a class for one student, your class, you're planning a full class activity or full class lesson. The second part of this task is a video, five to seven minutes, and there's quite a lot to cover in the video. When you're filming it, I find it easiest to film on my phone and then to save it and into a YouTube um, link and then if you can provide that YouTube link within your lesson plan, it makes uploading a whole lot easier rather than having to upload a large video file. If you'd like to do it in an alternative way, please make sure that you let me know how you're going to submit it and have someone in your household check it or a friend check that they can actually play the video before you send it to me to make sure that it works. Often the issues with these tasks are that people don't have access or um, permission to use photos or video content um, or music maybe that they've included in the video or that you haven't set the vi uh, video settings appropriately. So make sure if it's in YouTube that it is on public setting. Uh, I will only be using it for my purposes of marking and won't be sharing it and you can delete it as soon as I have um, returned your grade for that. So it doesn't need to remain on YouTube um, in your account. So. 
in your video that you'll need to discuss um, the demographic considerations, um, the contextual con considerations for your case study, and uh, then you also need to justify your lesson plan activities. And I'd like you to actually teach one of the activities from your lesson. So using best practice teaching, so think about communication, feedback to the imaginary student. So you may wish to introduce your video and present the whole thing as if you're having a staff meeting about your students. So you might um, pretend that you have a fellow staff member in the, in the video with you. And you could say, you know, I've called this staff meeting today because we have Asala. Uh, this is her background. This is um, how I'm finding her behavior and engagement in class. Has anyone got any suggestions of what we might do? And you can have a, a mock discussion. Uh, so you could do the whole video in that format. Otherwise, I'd like you to have the, the discussion elements, but I do want to see you teach as well. So have you provided you know, feedback to that imaginary student? And is it um, corrective feedback? Is the activity um, appropriate? Is it safe? Uh, what are the safety considerations? You could teach that through your demonstration as well. You need to identify uh, where you've included strategies in your lesson plan to support and include participation and engagement. I'm a big believer in high on task time, making sure that there's not big long lines. So if you're doing relays, consider how many students you're having at each end of the relays, for example, if that's just an example of an activity um, where it is very clear where you have considered whether or not there is high on task time and engagement. Also, um, discuss how your lesson will benefit the students. So what, what have you considered from their profile or their case study overview that you have um, specifically put something in that lesson to support their needs? And also discuss the likely challenges that your student will face in the school environment and day-to-day -day schooling. As I said at the start, it's due on Thursday the 10th of September at 8pm and you must include a link to your video with your lesson plan. Um, the task is um, graded as one overall task, the video and the uh, lesson plan. Uh, the ATSL standards and the course learning outcomes are provided for you on the assessment task overview, assessment task one overview, which we've provided um, for you on Canvas. And uh, I've just revised the task overview so I will um, in time provide you with a detailed rubric for that as well and assessment task two and three videos and overviews are to follow. Thanks.